Hi, this is video three about my experience of being a tenant with Clarion Housing. So I'm going to I'm going to show you the video that uh, the email that I'm going to read. So that's an email. That's an email that I've sent to my MP. So I'm going to read the relevant bits because it's a long letter. So I'll try to be quick. So dear Caroline Lucas, skip the first chapter, second chapter, second uh, chapter. Yeah. I have reported to my housing association landlords numerous times that my immediate neighbour has been committing anti-social behaviour and, and that in the most recent incident last week he threatened me with violence again and this has left me feeling unsafe in my home and unfortunately I have become seriously suicidal. In a few hours I go to visit my doctor who was contacted by social services uh, from Brighton General Hospital a few days ago when I reported that the A&E ward to prevent myself from attempting suicide. My GP has very kindly given me an emergency appointment. Over the last few days I was also contacted by Brighton Police inquiring about my safety and asking me if I wanted them to visit the neighbour who threatened me. Currently I am unsure what to do about the police speaking to my neighbour as I am afraid it may aggravate the situation. My neighbour is a violent man with obvious mental health problems and I don't want to inflate the situation. I wonder if you may be willing to consider contacting my landlords to let them know you are aware of my situation. I attach a copy of an email I sent to my landlords today which documents how many times they have failed to contact me when I have reported numerous incidents of antisocial behaviour. I believe housing association landlords have certain responsibilities, especially towards vulnerable tenants. So I'll read now the letter that I copied to my MP, which I sent to my landlord's Clarion Housing. Dear Clarion Housing, please accept this mail as me lodging another formal complaint regarding how you have not responded to numerous of my requests for help on the issue of antisocial behaviour by my neighbours and also that you have not responded to my previous lodging formal complaints about your lack of response to my requests from services from you. On December 10th, 2018, I both called and emailed you to inquire and to lodge a complaint about my bikes being remo removed by your cleaner without notifying me, and how you had not responded to my inquiry about my bikes being removed which I had made some weeks previously. On that occasion, you sent me an email with the following message. And I won't read what they said because I don't have permission. It's their words to me. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this, is, uh, so this is again my letter. On 15th of September 2019, I contacted you regarding anti-social behaviour by my neighbour and I received an identical answer uh, as I had on the occasion described above. Yet again, despite you saying someone would contact me, no one did. On 6th of October, I emailed you regarding more anti-social behaviour by my neighbour, which as I explained has resulted in me feeling unsafe and suicidal. Please accept this message as a formal complaint against you not responding to my previous complaints and also for your lack of action on the various issues, issues I brought to your attention. With kind regards, Stephen Hendry. So this is me jumping back now. So that was a, a copy of the letter I sent, the email I sent to my landlords. So this is me now directly res, uh, addressing my MP. Uh, as you can see by my previous emails to my landlords, on two occasions they have not contacted me when they said they would, and also they have completely ignored my complaints about this. As I am now living in fear of my neighbour and each night is especially risky, as I, I am concerned for my safety due to the high level of tension I feel extremely vulnerable and I'm not sure if I can continue like this. 
I wonder if you may be, may be willing to contact my landlords and let them know you are aware of my situation. As I mentioned, I visit my doctor in two hours. He is extremely kind and helpful. I sincerely appreciate any help and input you may be willing to offer. P.S. Uh, the email to my landlord I attached details events only over the last 18 months. However, I have lived in this flat for 20 years and they, they the brackets, consistently ignore my concerns and other tenants to yours sincerely, Stephen Hendry. Okay, that's a very quick reading of a small part of the communication with my MP.